What's up everyone? So I'm editing part two right now, which you guys are watching. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest that you guys go and check out part one. And uh, you guys can basically get a little bit more of the story out of what's happened. In other words, feel free to enjoy. <laughs> okay. Say this just done. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, because like every time the exhaust would like start up, I was like, I kind of like this. Yeah. Like it, it sounds horrible right now, but I was like, I kind of like it. Okay, so I have Brandon right now running to Canadian Tire. He's grabbing an exhaust clamp. As you saw, our exhaust fell off. Our motor's not running right. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong and it is horrible, but we're not gonna let it deter us. We're going to get through this and it's gonna feel amazing when we're finally done. This guy takes about 16 of these. It's gonna be a lot of work. We're going to exchange the spark plugs and we're going to look at the manifold if worse comes to worse. Those are like the only two things that we've kind of come up with. I got a uh, this guy so I can actually double check the injectors just to verify 100% because it's a little bit more reliable than just using a big bar like this guy. So we can do this, spark plugs, intake manifold. We're going to do the spark plugs first because we do not want those to get hot before we work on them. So we're going to get that done. Each one of these guys need to be gapped. So we're going to be doing that for the next probably half an hour. Yay. A lot of things have gone wrong, but I think this is where things are gonna start turning. It's getting really cold, really late. This is our last kind of push through, and I'm hoping it works. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh. Recording. Recording. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. That's actually not too bad. I don't think. Too bad, right? Check the gap on it, maybe. I really need to get a tripod. <laughs> okay, so I just finished the passenger side spark plugs, installed the new ones, put the boots back on, made sure all the wiring's tucked in nice. I just couldn't resist anymore, man. Root beer, it's my kind of thing. I don't know, you'd know this if you saw like uh, my water pump install video, I think it was. I uh, confessed my dying love for root beer and this thing's been eyeing me up from across the room all night. It's about uh, almost nine o'clock. I'm just glad it is so warm. It is incredible that it is this warm. Brandon was successful on his journey. He found us a new uh, clamp for the exhaust. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm going to finish installing the spark plugs on the driver's side. I think it should be a little bit easier than uh, the passenger side. Then I'm probably gonna crawl under the truck. I'll get my exhaust uh, kind of clamp back together. And then I think I'll probably try to start it up. We can see if anything's changed. If it hasn't, then I guess the next thing I guess the next thing to do is install some of these guys. Because these things are so expensive, I only got four of them. And I noticed as soon as I pretty much left the building and was like across town, I, I knew I should have gotten more. And I thought about going back, but uh, that just didn't happen. We're gonna, I guess, if, if need be, we will take off the intake tonight after the exhaust and spark plugs. And we will see if maybe we can uh, figure this stuff out. and all 16 spark plugs are done. It shouldn't have taken as long as it did, I suppose, but at the same time, nothing got worse. <laughs> so I'm not gonna complain. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to hop under the vehicle really quick, put this guy on. Hopefully I can do that myself. And we should be able to see uh, if one of the injectors is the mess up a little bit better with this guy. Like look how many there are, dude. That's. I don't care what anyone says, man. That's a lot of spark plugs. <laughs> I found the absolute worst one. So as you guys can see, this thing's absolutely pitch black. But if you look, this gap is about 0 0.07. I think it was just slightly over, like 7.1 or 7.2. The gap on the plugs are supposed to be approximately almost half that. So that is absolutely horrible you can also see that there's a very high concentration of like rust right on the tip there and that definitely can't be healthy either so that was our worst one <laughs> maybe i'll keep some of these guys and i'll see if maybe i can do something with them i'm sure there's something you can do but uh anyways i'm gonna go under the truck right now and i'm gonna see if i can do that exhaust really quick and then after that we can pretty much fire it up and see if it's better hopefully 
kind of nervous. Are you? It sounds perfect now. Yeah, it does. We're gonna go for a test drive. We kind of looked at it for a while. The idle is not fixed. The idle is still kind of surging, but at the same time, at least now the truck is actually like running. This guy does an amazing job. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend just getting one of these instead of using, you know, a random metal stick. Yeah, it's, it's just get this. Okay, so let's do some first impressions, I suppose. It definitely feels a lot better. Like all my power is back. Before I would be pressing the pedal like a normal amount and I would be going like a third of the speed. Feels good. Kind of feels like, a, like it picks up a little bit faster. One thing I found really odd was that <laughs> when I put it in reverse, uh, normally it kind of like lurches forward, but the funny thing is I'm not noticing that like at all. When uh, I was pulling out of the garage, I literally like checked it probably two or three times just switching back and forth. Like you get a little bit of a jerk, but like probably an eighth if not even that uh, of what kind of like you used to get as far as like that jerk jerkiness goes shifting into gears. It sounds like extremely smooth. I don't even know if I have an exhaust leak anymore. <laughs> I went this like past two years thinking I had an exhaust leak, but. Holy crap, oh my God. <laughs> I was doing a burnout all the way up to the top a second. Holy crap, this thing's like intense. I'm gonna put in four wheel lock. We'll see if maybe I uh, take off a little bit better. different like it oh my god this thing sounds and feels so much better needless to say the truck's doing a lot better and it's not like losing any power like it was before as i said earlier it's like i used to press the pedal a normal amount and i'd get like a fourth a third of the power so it was really bad actually as to why it all started with hitting a puddle i have no idea i'm thinking maybe it kind of was just like <laughs> putting strain on the motor and that's kind of what did it or maybe it was uh, water that shot up onto the engine cover and basically got into got into like the spark boot not necessarily inside but just like the electrical connection to the harness either way i'm very happy to say it's finally done and over with and the truck's actually running as it should be or at least to an extent. If you guys haven't checked out the other damages to my truck uh, that have come up recently, <laughs> I'll uh, link that up top and all the links will also be in the description down below. So feel free to go and check those out. But I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys for sticking around. If you guys enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe and I'd love to have you guys stick around. In other words, stay safe out there and I'll catch you later. I don't know if you guys have even really seen this car for like a long time, but check out the interior. We like painted all this stuff and I installed some uh, under foot wall glow. <laughs> I miss my truck so bad right now. This is more of a punishment than anything. I need my truck back.